Well, hey guys, good morning. On Sunday in my sermon, I mentioned Cain and Abel, and how Cain, jealous of his brother Abel, killed him. Now, Cain thought he had got away with it, but not long after burying his murdered brother, God confronts Cain and asks him, where is your brother Abel? To which Cain replies, am I my brother's keeper? In other words, God, why are you asking me? I have no idea where he is. Now, it's obvious Cain isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. I mean, God knows everything, sees everything, and hears everything. You cannot keep anything from God. But what I found interesting, and it speaks to God's character, is that God had mercy on Cain. If you read Genesis 4 and pay particular attention to Cain in this chapter, there's no indication in the slightest that after he had murdered his brother, after God had shown him so much mercy, that Cain actually began serving God in the slightest. However, Cain had a son whom he named Enoch. And in chapter 5, verses 21 to 24, we read how Enoch served God faithfully for 300 years. Now, Enoch had lived 365 years. So for most of his life, Enoch served God faithfully. Now, here's the takeaway for you and I this morning. No matter what your family or ancestors have done in terms of not serving God, they have no influence on you serving God faithfully. Your response to God's call to salvation is yours and yours alone. Come on now, don't let some dodgy great-grandfather's actions become a stumbling block to you walking faithfully with God. You know, at salvation, you're a new creation. You've been indwelt by the Holy Spirit. You're adopted by God. In fact, you're a joint heir in the kingdom with Christ. And also, you have received eternal life with God. And none of these things are dependent on uncles, cousins, or close family. Genesis 4 and 5 says it all. Cain was a murderer. He really wasn't keen to worship God. And yet, Enoch, his son, was someone who, work, who walked with God faithfully for three centuries. Maybe this morning you're in a place where something in your family line tells you that because of this person or that thing, salvation and new life is impossible. That's a lie. In fact, it's biblically inaccurate. God would say to you this morning, you are mine and I am yours. Amen. Well, I trust you're going to have a great day and may God bless you.